In this video, we're going to find the limit of S sub n as n approaches infinity. So all we have to do basically is take this limit here. This problem is actually really easy once you know how to do it. So let me go ahead and write the limit sign. So limit n goes to infinity. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rewrite what's here. I'm gonna put it over here. So we have four over n cubed, and then parentheses, and we have n, n plus one, two n plus one, and it's all being divided by six. So basically in these problems, you're always gonna get a, a nice number. And this is a polynomial in n. On the bottom, you also have a polynomial. So whenever you have a polynomial over a polynomial and the degrees are the same, the answer is the ratio of the coefficients. So for example, just to derail quickly, say we had 3n squared plus n over 5n squared plus 1. In this case, these powers are the same, so the degrees are the same, so the answer is just 3 over 5. Okay, it's the ratio of the leading coefficients. So here it's the same thing. Look, n, n, n is n cubed, so it's n cubed over n cubed. So the answer is going to be that ratio. So the tricky part is you have to multiply it all out in your head. You see, because we have the four here, and that's gonna get multiplied by the two. So if you were to multiply all of this out, your term of highest degree would be cubic, because n times n times n is n cubed, but then you would get an eight n cubed. So the leading coefficient in the numerator is eight. So eight n cubed gives us the eight, and then on the bottom it's simply six. So this will be four over three, and that would be the final answer. So you can just look at the highest power and then just multiply the numbers, and that will always give you the answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.